Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. People come to me all the time talking to me about their kids and really, really having trouble with their children. You know, old kids, young kids, kids of all ages. It's a fact right now, the baby boomers have more children living at home than any other generation. And one of the reasons for it is the baby boomers, which I'm one of, unfortunately, have taught their children to be de dependent, dependent upon them. And being a helicopter parent, meaning that you're hovering about them all the time, controlling almost every move they make, really focusing in on their schoolwork, and if they're not getting it done, doing it for them to make sure it gets done, because there's this fear of lack of performance, this fear of not getting into college because the competition is so high that parents have taken it upon themselves to really make sure the child does this. What's happening though is the child learns irresponsibility, they learn codependency, and they will never ever succeed with that kind of parenting. Now some of you may argue with that, saying, well, I've seen that work and the children have exceeded uh, many expectations. However, that is very, very few cases. It can happen. I'll admit that. However, most likely it won't happen. What we're really seeing coming out of that is a lot of children who can't keep jobs, don't want to keep jobs. They have the attitude, if they don't like it, they'll just quit. And then they have no money, they move back home. And I've seen people as old as 40 years old still living at home because of this kind of attitude. Because the parents protected them a little bit too much, sheltered them a little bit too much. And believe me, I understand there's a lot to shelter them against in this world right now. However, it is the world they're going to have to live in. We're going to have to let them go sooner or later, and we'd better do it while they're still with us than cutting them loose eventually and trusting the fact they're going to be okay. The best way to do this is to really, really loosen it up a little bit. Let the leash out just a little bit all the time and kind of see how they do. Not letting a child go to a party or go to a social function because you're afraid there's going to be drinking or sex involved. Well, that's pretty much given these days. There's going to be drinking, there's going to be sex involved, and a lot of misbehaving. Send them anyway. If you've taught them good morals, good values, good judgment, that's the best place to test it. I know, it's rough, but if you don't, you never know what's going to happen and disaster could happen. At least you have control to come back and talk to them and have them talk to you about it. One of the biggest mistakes parents make right now is be over reprimanding. If the child makes a mistake, they really reprimand them. What that's going to do is put the child into the darkness and they're never going to tell you what's really going on. They're going to lie to you. You want to create an open relationship, one where they can trust you, never shutting down everything that they want to do, not over controlling their school life and social life, not really covering their rear end to make sure their schoolwork gets done. It takes motivation, training, a good attitude, and a lot of love to do this these days. We have some amazing kids growing up right now. I have a lot of them come to me here, and I'm blown away at the capability some of these young people have. We've got to let them do this. They're the next leaders. We're the mentors. By allowing them to come back home, by allowing them to really hedge on schoolwork, by allowing them to have to stay home and not go out and socially experiment is a big mistake. We've got to be there so they can learn how to do it properly. I want all of you parents out there that hear this to lighten up a little bit and trust. Understand, if you've taught your children well, they were pretty well cooked by the time they were 10 years old. If they haven't got it by then, they're not going to get it. Now's the time to mentor them into being socially responsible. I know you can do it. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you a very happy parenting day. Until then, bye-bye.